kidnapped, brutally beaten, and then tossed along the side of a road. Now a local private investigator who is part of the search effort is revealing shocking new information about this case. 10 News anchor Aitika Milana spoke to him tonight, and Aitika, he has a theory about why she was abducted. That's right, he does. Bill Garcia thinks that she was taken with the intent of becoming a sex slave, something that has become all too common along the I-5 corridor. Her cell phone was found right here. Bill Garcia points out the spot where this kidnapping and torture all started. Her earbuds coiled up sitting on top of the phone. My suspicion is she got to this point, which is 1.1 miles from her house. She got to this point took the headphones off and maybe stretched. The San Diego private investigator has been part of several high profile cases. When he heard about Sherry Papini vanishing while on a jog, he volunteered his services and headed north. There's tons of mines all through this area. Garcia took hundreds of pictures documenting every step of the search effort. His theory, the mother of two was kidnapped with the intent of making her part of a sex trafficking ring. Because of the way she was confined. The chain is absolutely a telltale sign of cartel. He says the area has become saturated with these criminal sex rings. Although he was hopeful, he did not expect Papini to be found alive. I mean, look, 22 days is a long time for anyone to be found alive. And so I believe this is really a miracle that she wasn't, uh, her life wasn't taken. He thinks he knows why her kidnappers let her go. I think the amount of violence towards her came after they realized they weren't going to be able to do anything with her. She was a liability. Because her case became so public. These posters were everywhere. Now, uh, Sheriff Gar or, uh, after Garcia says that uh, Papini's husband revealed so many details about the sheriff's investigation, the sheriff's department placed him and the family under a gag order. We're live tonight. Aitika Milanis, 10 News.